Shalom, I'm Rabbi Chaim Chlem ben Nachman Himmelfarb and I'm so pleased to introduce you today a documentary about a legendary show that was made in 1972 by my uncle Max Pinsky. It's called My Little Boy Chick and I've assembled the cast for you to view before you actually get to see the shows because this was made during a time, remember, there was Sanford and Son and Chico and the Men, and we laughed at the African Americans and we laughed at the Hispanics, and the studios decided that it would be funny to laugh at the Jews. So uh, they made this show, and it was a big hit, and uh, it's being re-released, and I'm proud to say, as technical advisor, I get a little piece of the action. So let's meet the cast and uh, and we'll take it from there. Well, I'm pleased to introduce actually the star of the show, my little boy chick, uh, Roddy Rodinger. That was my most angelic. <laughs> <laughs> So what was that like being a, a child star? I got to I could not walk down the street without getting molested <laughs> by men, women, children. I, you know, I scored with Charo in my in my dressing room. She came by the set one day. I scored with them all. Charo, Joey, Heatherton, Lola, Lola Falana came by once, and <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, the show ran a couple of years. I had reached puberty, my voice started to change. That's when things started to take a bit of a turn, you know, and the popularity started to, to go. But, you know, it was a mix of reaching puberty and being able to, you know, with Charo and losing my fame. <laughs> what have you been doing all these years? Well, you know, I had a, I had a short stint in the 80s. Uh, we did a uh, sort of a, it was sort of a takeoff on Miami Vice called Hammer and Snatch. That, that really didn't do very well. And uh, I was on QVC for a couple of years, and uh, you know, I decided to become a doctor. You know, I figured gynecology, a perfect way to meet chicks. You know, and first, if you're not famous, at least you get to, I didn't realize there'd be a lot of old women. Whew, they call me the magic fingers. Uh, that, I, I'm not sure why, but. <laughs> it was great uh, talking to you. Is that it? That's all the time I got. Perhaps at some I'm supposed, point... I'm supposed to get a certain number of lines or I don't work, baby. <laughs> well, if you like, you can keep talking. I have to be at the synagogue. Ah, well, uh, shalom. And to you, too. Yes. Well, thank you. Is it on? <laughs> uh, and so I'm pleased now to introduce Antoinette Carly who of course played the beautiful Mrs. Beaver and I, I had such a crush on you when I was a young boy. Oh, you're sweet. Oh, I remember those days very vaguely. Oh, I had an agent who sent me to audition and I remember that day I was feeling good. And I walked into that audition. I didn't even have to say a word. I just gave the best <laughs> any actress had given that day. Well, that and was probably to my uncle Max Pinsky. Oh, yes. Oh, Max. Yes. He was a Jew. Am I, am I sitting in something wet? I should say now that uh, unfortunately the actor Brixton Hume will, will not be appearing in this documentary because in 1978 he died in a tragic uh, auto uh, asphyxiation uh, incident which was all over the papers and unfortunately ended up with him being deceased. I'm, I'm pleased to introduce... Oh, wait, are we... Uh, dear, just be careful. Is the lighting good? Is, am I good? I, I I'm think looking at you, not at the camera. You're, you're looking at me. I think you're, you're very lovely. Uh, perhaps you could tell everyone uh, how you came about to play this, this part. Well, darling, you know, I was born in Spain and I studied in London at Lambda and the Royal Academy. And, well, you know, at that time all the British stars wanted to come to America. And, you know, they said I was going to play the housekeeper. Well, you know, we had upstairs, downstairs. But, of course, that's what I thought I would be doing. But, unfortunately, and I, God knows why, I showed up and they wanted me to play this little 
Hispanic woman. Whenever you would say adios mios, my uncle Max, he would plots oh. <laughs> and actually have a conniption fit right on oh, the set. Oh, Maxi, Maxi, Maxi. Well, you know that show, it made me what I am today. Uh, now I'm proud to introduce some footage we have from way back in the 70s of the actress Ethel Schickelgruber, who of course played Granny, and uh, this footage is taken from the set of My Little Boy Chick, and it's very illuminating, and of course it's the only remaining footage of uh, Ethel left, so here it is. I am so excited that we will be releasing the lost tapes of My Little Boy Chick because as you know, this legendary show was not able to be seen because of legal complications between my Uncle Max and his partner and their ex-wives which resulted in uh, 35 years of lawsuits that have finally settled. So we are now pleased to, to be able to release these shows for your viewing enjoyment and you can re-experience the laughter and the joy of little Roddy Rodinger and his, his goyish uh, parents and the grandmother who is anti-Semitic and it's, it's very funny and I, I know you will love it. We'll see you uh, next time uh, on Friday night uh, where I'm introducing a, a Tat Shabbat uh, which is quite lovely, followed by an Onek Shabbat and by an actual Shabbat, which will be followed by the post-Shabbat service at the regular...